people wish the death penalty on you. I wish they keep you alive. So you have to suffer with the thought of what you did for the rest of your life. I, I want to have the death penalty. I don't see I don't see wasting another dollar on him. Do I want you to die? No. I want you to stay alive. I want you to think about this every day of your life. So who makes that decision whether or not to seek the death penalty for Peyton Gendron? Well, Olivia Proya is taking a closer look at that and explains that for us tonight. It's a thing that can tear the community apart in some ways. Public support of the death penalty has been waning for decades, but events like the Topps mass shooting may be shifting the conversation. Mass shootings, oftentimes either race-based or religious-based or are, are uh, publicized and are driving, uh, uh, perhaps driving the support of death penalty back up. So will the Justice Department seek the death penalty for the man who shot and killed 10 people at the Tops on Jefferson Avenue last year? They have been, you know, very uh, careful and, and almost never seeking the death penalty in new cases. How much do the victims, the living victims' voices play into the prosecution seeking the death penalty? There's no legal requirement that they uh, be, uh, you know, the controlling voices, even if they're unanimous. The federal prosecutor or state prosecutor has an independent duty to weigh the appropriateness of seeking death. And it's a much broader perspective than the pain of the victim's family, which, which of course is, is present and to be considered, but is not dispositive or determinative. Right now, President Biden has put a moratorium on executions and has expressed that he doesn't believe in the sentence of death. You know, the Justice Department is a separate uh, entity. The Justice Department can still seek the death penalty regardless of the moratorium, which may not even apply to the top mass shooter's potential case because it can take decades. Well, it gets into a very emotional and a uh, roller coaster kind of thing that drags on and it doesn't end with the the sentence decades and decades in, in the recent past just because of uh issues that come up the, the, the means of execution the actual component of the of the lethal cocktail the uh issues that come up post Conviction. And a long death penalty trial comes with a significant cost. It's expensive to have a death penalty trial and then expensive to carry it out. And when I use the word expensive, I don't just mean in terms of dollar and cents expensive. In terms, it's also expensive in terms of the resources it commands, the human resources. But those are not the only expenses. It's the emotional, it's the trauma, it's the long, long uncertainty, that sort of costs. Olivia Proya, 7 News.